I think this is an intimidating question. I don't think it's a hard one, but we are at number 20, even in the first module, there's going to be some stuff. Um, so let's just be really clear about what they're saying here, right? Right away when I look at that equation, I'm like, oh, it's all factored out, right? So if I needed to, I could kind of understand the X intercepts of this thing very easily because it's in that factored form with all the parentheses. And wouldn't you know it, that's kind of what they want, right? In the given equation, D and G are unique positive constants, meaning they are different numbers, okay? When the equation is graphed in the XY plane, how many distinct X intercepts does the graph have? So you can, you can probably think about it without arithmetizing here, but I'll show you how arithmetizing helps confirm what we're doing. So if I'm thinking of D and G as, as unique numbers, I recognize that here it would be one of my solutions at where X is D, okay? Here's another at X is negative D, right? So D, negative D would be different numbers. Here's one where X is negative G, so that's number three. And here's X equals D, but we already did that, right? So that one doesn't count again, right? That's, that's not unique. We've already got that one. So there are three, three solutions. So there you go. Now, if you wanted to put this in Desmos, it's not hard. You just need to come up with a number for D and G. My advice is to come up with that number yourself beforehand because here, I'll show you what the mistake might be that people make. Uh, let's actually see if it does it. So Y, come on, come on. Y equals two times X minus D times X plus D times X plus G times X minus D. And of course, if you type that wrong, and you switch a negative or something, you might get the wrong answer. So you got to be careful. Now, if I hit all right now and get some sliders, I can see that that only has two, two different uh, x-intercepts, right? And they're there at negative one and positive one. And that's because what Desmos does is it defaults to uh, giving you one as the slider, right? So both D and G are one, but it says they are unique positive constants. So meaning they're different numbers. So just literally just move it slightly. It doesn't even need to be a pretty number. Uh, it doesn't say they have to be integers. So 2.3 is good for G. And now I can see there's one, two, and three different solutions, different x-intercepts. So that's fine. Now we're good. But I, I wonder, I don't know for sure, but I wonder if maybe when they wrote this question, they were deliberately kind of setting you up to maybe use a slider knowing that many people would not change the default numbers and uh, get confused and get the wrong answer because they're looking at a graph that get, has two solutions, but it's not following the instructions in the question. So uh, just you know, notice those kinds of things. If they say unique constants, if they say positive constants, integer constants, those words don't always matter, but they can. And so you can't completely ignore them. It's a good question. I really like this. I think it's really simple. It's rewarding people to understand what's going on, uh, but it's also giving people a fighting chance if they know how to read instructions and then just trust the calculator.